everyone! Welcome to Sew Aldo. Today I am going to feature all my sewing projects from June and July. So these are all the handmade garments that I made during those two months. And yeah, I can't wait to share with you guys and talk to you more about it. So before we get started, be in the know, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification so you will get notified whenever I post a new one. If you are into sewing, style, and DIY, be sure to click that subscribe button. So these are my sewing makes from June and July and they are super easy. Some of them are thrifted transformations and some of them are handmade from scratch without using any sewing patterns. So let's go ahead and start with this one. So this one is a sheared top that has like a peplum detail and as you can see here, it has a sheared top and it's really nice it also has sleeves I actually worked on this blouse three times the first time i showed you how to just make a tube top with straps and then the second time is i added the sleeves so i actually did this on two separate videos and this one, this blouse is super easy this is shearing without using an elastic thread so i basically just use an elastic and I used elastics and then zigzag stitch it on the fabric and it gave me that beautiful sheared effect that I really like and it's super easy to do. It's actually very off the shoulder that's why I wasn't able to really wear this just because of that reason because the sleeves is really right here on the edge so it's basically showing half of my, my torso. It's super easy, no pattern required, you just need to measure your bust area and the length of the blouse so that is basically um, how easy that is you just need two measurements let's take it off the, the hanger so i can kind of put it on and so you'll get an idea see it, it's actually pretty cute next one i have here on the rack is actually a set now this was a reformation inspired um, crop top set so skirt and a crop top so basically this used to be a dress that i chop in half and turn it into a crop top set sets are very nice just because you can mix and match it with different um, different clothes like this one here you know this can match together this one is also a reformation inspired top and plus you will see it you will see this type of tops like everywhere because it's trending right now it's very trendy but yeah i absolutely love the way it turned out it's super easy you guys i basically just cut it in half and added elastic on the waistline next dress i have here is this one i absolutely love the color of this it's such a sweet sweet color this used to be this was a vintage nursing dress that i turned into a nice um trendy dress as you can see the fluff sleeves are very very nice and stable they're not as flimsy as the rest of the dress so this is what the dress looked like on as you can see it looks very different from what it used to look like before i turned the flutter sleeves into a sheared fuff sleeves that is very trendy at the moment basically gave this dress a facelift skinny belt used to be at the back before decided to reuse it as a self-tie belt to cinch in the waistline these three are like around july and now these two are around um june so let me get the blue dress I made two separate tutorials on this just because i made a separate tutorial on the sleeve so the sleeve has petal sleeve detail so that's a separate tutorial and it, this dress has a half circle skirt bottom and then just a regular bodice pattern basically just copied a dress that fits me really well and i added darts and that's how I got my pattern. Basically, I just replicate 
a nice dress and then just use it as my pattern so if you are new to sewing you can easily do that you can just get a dress that fits you really well and then you can easily adjust it and add darts so it will fit you better i love the color this was actually an organic cotton fabric um, it was sent to me a long time ago by a fabric company called cotton plus organic cotton plus i believe and it's such a beautiful um, good quality fabric it doesn't even need lining just because it's thick enough that it's not going to be see-through so that's that so this is like one of my favorite summer dress and this is what the blue dress look like on I really like it I just paired it with white pair of shoes and did you notice the petal sleeves they are very adorable and it just give a different detail to this simple dress last dress that's on the rack is this beautiful mixed print dress this is like my absolute favorite thrifted transformation dress that I have ever made this used to be a just a regular sleeveless dress and then this used to be a maxi skirt so i basically merged the two materials together it used to have a band so whenever i wear this dress i always scroll it above my my elbow i thought there's no reason for me to keep it long sleeve if i you know if i like to do that so i ended up trimming it and i did i also did some shearing treatment on the hem to give that um kind of sheared ruffly look and i really really like it so there's going to, there is going to be a tutorial on how i did that that's going to be posted in a few days so yeah this was one of my favorite dress this is actually probably one of my most worn um dress this season i absolutely love it i wear this all the time and whenever i wear this i always get compliment i guess red is my color don't you think so I just love this dress it's just there's something about this dress and the fabric is awesome it's just nice rayon blend i think it's rayon oh it's actually 100 rayon 100 rayon and it's so flowy so yeah i love this dress so so much it's just comp the fabric complements each other so that's that and this is what the mixed print dress looked like on i paired it with white accessories those are recent purchase from tj maxx and dsw the bag was from tj maxx and the brand is nine west so these are all the clothes that i made from june to july i hope you guys like it and if you are interested i'm going to have the links in the description box below so you can go ahead and check that out thanks so much for watching be in the know subscribe to my channel and get notified whenever i post a new one if you are into sewing style and diy be sure to join my sew aldo family by subscribing thanks so much for watching and i appreciate you all and i will see you soon bye